You be quiet now. Who is she talking to? I don't know. Let's go. Who the hell is bugging me at this time? Oh, it's you guys again. What do you want now? We will not leave this place until we figure out what the hell is wrong with you. Nothing's wrong with me. I simply changed my look. And your way to be, apparently. It's like we don't exist to you anymore. Listen, I have better things Ooh. to do. What was that? The... the, uh, the TV. Uh, I was watching a horror movie until you guys interrupted the best part. Go away now. Bye. Isabella! That wasn't coming from the TV. It, it sounded like Isabella's voice. So what now? She suddenly has an evil twin? Somehow. Yes. Diego, that's crazy. No, hear me out. Have you heard about alter egos? The what now? Oh my god, seriously? What are you doing in psychology? Just checking out the teacher? Hey, calm down. You're right, I, I'm sorry. I, I'm still a little stressed because of Isabella. You really like her, don't you? Yes. Yes, I do. Hey, what's wrong? Nothing. I guess I'm sad about Isabella as well. Let's go to another place. Like... like the park. To discuss about Isabella's actions. So, what were you saying about that ego thingy? It's called alter ego, which means second self. Have you heard about the story about Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? Okay, then superheroes like Superman, Batman? Oh, yeah, I get it. Yes, they all have two lives, either as a doctor to a senseless murderer or an ordinary journalist to a respectful superhero. So you're saying Isabella has an alter ego? Yes. But what does this have to do with the scream we heard? She ate her? <laughs> no, silly. In rare cases, the alter ego takes its own life. It, it lives by itself without being in the other's body. Somehow like the movie Avatar. Have you seen them? No. My god, why do you hate movies? I don't! Continuing. Like I said, they live by their own, with the other person's power of mind. If this is true, only the real Isabella can stop this. But if she controls it... Why doesn't she stop her alter ego? Because she can't. Her alter ego has overpowered her and is forcing to live instead of her. We have to help Isabella to fix this. Or else, sooner or later, only one can live. Oh my god. So we can lose Isabella forever? Yes, but first we have to plan this. If what I read is right, then it will be very hard to overpower such a strong alter ego. Hey, we have to break up. What? Listen, I know we had some good times, but we have to move on. Right? But why? Look, I like Isabel better, okay? What? You're leaving me for her? Um, yes. But, but, but... Gosh, leave me alone, Emma! She wants a war? Then she will have it. Hey, Isabella. You again? Look, I don't care if you have better looks than me now, but you cannot steal Jeff away from me. I didn't steal anything. He prettily crawled to me. This isn't over. This is war now. Ooh, I'm so afraid. What are you going to do? Hit me with your cheap lipstick? <laughs> I know, right? It doesn't even look like she's... She's the same person. Whoa, look at her! She's hot, man! You're exaggerating, mortal. What? Are you talking to me? You're putting your friends in a lot of pain. Just for beauty. You say they're my friends. You're right. I know what you are. You're a demon. Isabella would never act like this. She was a sweet girl, not a beast. Who are you to call me a beast? 
You will be defeated at the end, demon. <sighs> Weird, though. Do you have the plans? Yes, I read some cases on the internet. And so? What did they say? Well, we have to find Isabella, the original Isabella. And we have to empower her. We will need to be her strength to fight for her life and delete her alter ego forever. Okay, and how will we do that? Molly, we're her friends, right? She loved us. We just have to remind her of that. She will fight against her. We will go to her house tonight.